close it out there in the overtime. Yeah, um, I thought, you know, especially in the overtime, we uh, got stops and uh, you know, guys hit big shots. Go. We had a uh, couple of yeah. comebacks, like well, yeah. down 15 early, um, down early in the overtime. Good response from your support team? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, we haven't had that on the road much. Um, we got down early and then, you know, fought our way back multiple times, so it's, it's a good sign. But, uh, you know, we'd like to not get down in the first place. But, you know, guys were hitting shots. Uh, the second group that came in gave us a lift. Impact on your team if Chauncey is hurt like it looks like? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, it, it hurts. Um, it's, it's a big part of our, our team, but um, you know we have guys that are capable of stepping up. Um, you know, you know Mo Williams and Randy Foy, both at the two spot, come in and give you, you know, quality, quality minutes. I fight with Dwight Howard. Can I battle with Dwight Howard? Uh, he's, I mean, he's tough. He's a monster inside, but we knew that coming in. Um, but you know, he, he got his points and. and I thought DJ did a good job. Um, as a team, we, we needed to do a better job, especially early. But you know, I thought down the stretch, we did a pretty good job. Hey, Blake, talk about what uh, Chris Paul brings to this team. Last year, you guys came in and got a tough loss. And to be able to win a game like this down the stretch, what is Chris Paul, uh, the leadership he brings you guys? What is the difference between last year and this year? Uh, I mean, it's just one of those, you know, you got somebody that's, that's um, he's our, our floor, floor general. He's making plays. Um, for other guys, for you know, however many plays, and then when we need to, he, he can get buckets whenever he needs to. So, um, you know, having him is it's just, it's uh, obviously very, very helpful. Um, and, uh, we, we rely on him a lot, but we need to do a better job of not having to put him in that situation. Can you talk about the flow of this game? Um, they had 30 points. Can you talk about the flow of this game? They had 30 sure. points in the first, and we'll 32 in the next two quarters. Uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, I thought at the very beginning of the game we did a poor job of limiting easy looks. Um, but then, like you said, the, sec the next two quarters, you know, we were on our defense rotations. You know, you know, we were making it tough. And they still got you know, shots and all that, obviously. But we just did a much better job. We played our team defense the, the next two quarters. Talk about your guys' tenacity down the stretch, keeping possessions alive. On the offensive boards, how keeps that? That was huge. I think it was Ryan Jones got one. I think Karan got one. Um, it was huge. You know, gave us two more, two more shots of the goal, and then obviously kept the ball in our hands. So, um, you know, that's part of it, making big plays on the stretch, and guys did that. I know it's still relatively early in the season, but what is it that you guys most confidence goes down to the season? It's huge. Um, like you said, it is early and we still have a lot more games to play, but you know, especially here, we have, we're in the middle of a six game road trip. So to start off 2 0 and then get this one against a team like that, it is good for us and good for our confidence. Um, but at the same time, you know, we have a lot of work to go and, and, um, and we got to get there. Hey, Blake, John, good for the confidence, good win tonight. But when you see one of the leaders go down, does that take a lot of air out of the, the, any celebratory mood? Yeah, a little bit, it does. Um, you, know, you never want to see somebody get hurt. Um, but, you know, like I said, you can't do anything about it now. And, um, you know, we have plenty of guys that, that are capable of stepping up and filling that void. And, um, you know, that's what we got to do. We just focus on what's next.